we take a look at the same condition, the composition is 0.76 weight percent of carbon in iron. The temperature begin higher than 727 degrees Celsius, which mean above eutectoid temperature, and the condition is rapid cool to 625 degrees Celsius and hold isothermally. It means that we hold at 625 degrees Celsius. How we are going to do that? Usually we use furnace with setting that we can set to be at 625 degrees Celsius temperature or at other temperature. Right. The step is on the TTT diagram, we start above 727 degrees Celsius and then we rapid cool it until 625 degrees Celsius over here and then we hold isothermally until certain duration so that the austenite composition or austenite microstructure change to perlite microstructure if we stop until before the red line we still have 100% austenite. If we stop at the dashed line over here, the composition will be 50% austenite and 50% perlite. And then if we stop after the green line over here, the composition will be 0% austenite and 100% per light. You can see the microstructure. We start with austenite and then for the 50% per light, 50% austenite is like this and after that, 400% per light is like this. Line AB indicate the rapid cooling of austenite. So rapid cooling over here. Horizontal line CD marks the beginning and the end of isothermal transformation at point C transformation of astenite to polite begin at point D the transformation is complete okay we take a look the product of cooling astenite example over here so it say specimen is rapidly cooled to 650 degrees Celsius Hold for 500 seconds and quench to room temperature. So how do we start? We start from above you tectoid temperature. I start over here. It said rapid cool until 650 degrees Celsius. First I find 650 degrees Celsius over here, right? So I draw the line for rapid cool. It is a straight line with a little bit slanted downward from here until 650 uh, like this and then hold for 500 second 500 second is this is 100 second this is 1000 second so 500 is in the middle over here okay so the line will be until over here so I make a straight line from 650 just now it stay at 650 for 500 seconds so you can see it transform into 100% per light okay see we start from austenite and then when we reach red line it will start to transform into polite. At the dash line, it is at 50% austenite, 50% polite. After the green line over here, the austenite already turned completely into polite. And then it said quench to room temperature. So what I do is I draw a straight line slanted downward to show the quenching process. Okay, like this. You can see 
this line should be straight downward a bit slanted to the right until reach the x axis over here so the microstructure is 100% per light will maintain to be 100% per light because there is no more austenite to transform to other microstructure okay i must tell you guys for product of cooling austenite only austenite can change to other microstructure it means that at the center point when we have 50% austenite and 50% perlite only 50% austenite can change into perlite or we can also make it to other microstructure such as bainite or martensite i will show you guys in the next example so the first product of cooling austenite is perlite there are two cases of perlite the first one is at high temperature, just a little bit below eutectoid temperature. The diffusion is faster, so it will form coarse perlite. For coarse perlite, the colonies are larger. So coarse perlite is formed at higher temperature. The properties is relatively soft. And then at perlite section, with lower temperature the diffusion is slower so the perlite is finer we will get the microstructure of colonies are smaller for fine perlite it form at lower temperature so the properties is relatively hard compared to coarse perlite so over here is perlite region this over here starting from below eutectoid temperature until this dash line so how we differentiate fine perlite and coarse perlite the coarse perlite occurs at higher temperature than fine perlite so the region of coarse perlite is around here so at this region you will get coarse perlite Below this, you will get much finer perlite microstructure. The properties also different. For coarse perlite, it is soft and fine perlite is more hard compared to coarse perlite. Okay, that's all on perlite morphology.